G'day legends, welcome back to your favorite fishing YouTube channel. Now this morning you're just going to join me on one of my uh, quick little flicks I have before I go to work sometimes. I've been really getting into bass fishing since the season opened. I haven't had many chances but um, I've had a couple of good sessions so far so I thought I'd bring the GoPros along. We probably won't make for a, for a long episode. But yeah, you should come join me on a, on a quick vlog this morning before I go to work. I love fishing before I go to work. It's hard for me sometimes to find the time to go for a fish. Um, you know, having a young family and working shift work and stuff. So um, sometimes it's the only time I can go, but I found that it really can put you in a much better mood for your day of work, especially if you catch a few good fish and you have a really good session or something. So just gotta pull up on this river. It's part of the Hunter River catchment system um, and just have a flick off the bank and see what we can find. It's cold this morning. Colder than yesterday. Yeah, bro. Well, a little kingfisher on the rock there. I'll throw one up in here. Huh? Yes, on. on. Oh. That was just off the drop off the cast, eh? Oh. Pulling him against the currents, probably not a good idea. Oh, he's solid, bro. Got to get down these slippery, muddy rocks. Oh. Oh. It's bad. Fifty. <laughs> if you're over forty, you're fat ass man. Oh. Bro, he's so fat. Forty-three. No, forty-two. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's bad. This is out to Tim. Good morning, Tim. Ah, oh, fuck, that's stinging. You spiked me right where you like get a paper cut. Yeah, right. Probably serves me right for bothering him. Plucking him out of his home on this cold morning. Oh, a boil there. They don't fucking miss when they hit it. <laughs> Ouch. Try the old thing. You know that trick? I'll show you.
you gotta try. I learned this off the dude in um, Van T. We got that many snags, and you got every single one off. Really? He had a lure retriever as well, but most of them he just do this before. He's like before you. If you feel like you're on a snag, don't fucking set the hook in it. But you just go like, and then. Cause it like, I don't know, it, it helps it, bounces, it yeah, helps yeah. it bounce back the other way. But if it's if it's in timber, it works better on rocks. But yeah, you can just start doing that like crazy and you get them. Hmm. I'll just try something else here. Just chuck me. Oh, what's that? That's no, gone. Just try something else here. I'm just gonna put my lure back in this current. Oh, not over there. Oh no, snag. Yes. Just gonna put my lure back in the cone here. Just let it sit back there and give it little twitches and let it drop back down. Twitch it up a bit. Oh, I got a hit. Come on, come on. Yes. Spade. Oh, this is another solid one, I think. Another, another 40 plus. Oh no, what just happened? Did you get in? Same spot. Just in there again. He's like, oh, that's an EP, I think. Yeah, it. yeah it is. Yeah. That's my first EP. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, his head. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, bro. Oh, man. Look at that thing. There you go, me first EP. Man, that is fat EP. That is fat as hell. Holy shit. They're funny shaped things, eh? That is a 41 centimeter EP. Sorry guys, I've got to stop you there. I uploaded a photo of that fish to Instagram today. Um, and you know, as soon as that fish surfaced, I saw it had that concave head. It was very differently shaped. Um, it was a very similar fish, but still quite differently shaped to the original bass that I caught there. And you know, I've caught a fair few bass before. Um, so yeah, I uploaded a photo of that fish today to Instagram and I got I got a lot of feedback from a lot of different anglers and the majority of people I spoke to agreed with me it was an estuary perch. So I managed to get in touch with some pretty well-known fishing identities such as Steve Starling and Chris Cleaver and they both agreed that that fish was actually a deformed bass. Um, it had all the characteristics of bass besides that head that was you know leading a lot of us to think it was an estuary perch. Um, it's gills, it's scale pattern, it's lateral line, it's um, fins. They all had the characteristics of Australian bass. So that caught me by surprise. Um, I was I was convinced, as you, as you saw. I thought it was an estuary perch. But yeah, that um, fish was actually quite a strangely, oddly shaped Australian bass. At the very least, it could have been a hybrid, a mix of both Australian bass and estuary perch. Um, but both those guys were pretty certain that that was actually just an oddly shaped Australian bass. 42. Yeah. So what I was doing, bro, I was just hanging my rod out in the rapids, my lure out there, and I was just, because it won't, yeah, I was just twitching it. And I felt him, like, just go bang. I wasn't even whining, I was just going really um, subtle, sort of jiggling it. So what was happening, guys, we rocked up and we were casting into this sort of deeper water where this runoff is, and... I've caught bass in here before, um, but you know, after a few flicks we hadn't caught anything, so I tried coming up here, 
I cast into there, I didn't catch anything. And then, as you've seen, that first bass I got was casting from this angle and he whacked it on the drop. And then with that EP, all I was doing was just letting it drift around in the current and just shaking my rod tip to just give it a tiny bit of action, bit of make it look like it's really struggling around in the current. And that EP smashed it, so sometimes it pays to just approach the fish from a different angle, trial and error, different techniques. Because there was definitely fish in there when we first got here. We were casting a little straight at them, but um, as soon as we moved down here and tried this way, we've caught two pretty solid fish, so it's pays sometimes to change your approach. What time are you leaving? Hey? Oh, really? See what I mean, guys? Pulling up like that, just chucking a little lure around for an hour or so before work, it's instantly made my day so much better. It's easier to get up to go fishing than it is to get up to go work. So these are some little sessions I really enjoy sometimes. And uh, yeah, he's joined me for one this morning. So thanks for watching and um, see you on the next one. Cheers.